Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 7th and subject science. In that, chapter number 14, electric current and its effect. In the previous video, we have seen up to main 5, part 1. Today we will see part 2. In that, we start from main 6. Answer the following questions in short. 2 marks each. Number 1. What is a closed uh, electric circuit? Explain First of all, you have to understood that what is a closed circuit. This so, see this one, this one figure in that, see this one. It's a closed circuit. And uh, see, in this figure, it's a open. So, this one is the open circuit. It's a open circuit. And here, you can able to see that it's a closed circuit. Okay. So, see the answer when the electric switch is on position the circuit from positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the battery becomes complete this one positive terminal and here it's negative terminal the from positive to negative circuit flows and such a circuit is called a closed circuit in this circuit electric current flows through every part of the circuit the bulb at that time glows so see the the bulb at that time it's a glows and see the next question what is a what is an open circuit electric circuit explain see here is the circuit is the open so when the electric switch is in off position and the switch is in off position the circuit does not become complete it is called an open circuit in this circuit electric current does not flow through any part of the circuit hence the bulb does not glow see the here bulb <coughs> does not glow now see the next page explain the heating effect of an electric current see the here is the nichrome wire is there which wire nichrome wire here is the positive and negative and here is the uh, open circuit is there now see the answer the heating up of a conductor due to the flow of electric current through it is called the heating effect of an electric current the amount of heat produced in the conductor depends on its material length and thickness put a nichrome wire between two ends in place of the bulb in the electric current electric circuit let the electric switch be in on position so electric current will flow after a few seconds, the nichrome wire becomes hot on passing an electric current from more time. Thus, the wire gets hot when electric current passes through it. So, in the nichrome wire, the wire becomes wire becomes hot on pass after few minutes. Now, see the question number four. What is the use of a fuse in an electric circuit? Answer is an electric fuse is a safety device which prevents probable fire uh, fire and damage to the electric appliance it consists of a wire made up of a special materials which quickly melts and breaks when excess amount of current pass through it when the current flowing through a circuit exceeds a safe time the fuse blows off or melts because of heat generate and breaks the circuit hence the electrical device and circuit are saved from any damage for this the fuse is kept in the electric circuit see the question number five what is a short circuit what harms does it cause answer is wires of positive terminal and negative terminal touch each other is known as the short circuit when insulations on the conducting wire breaks due to wear and tear or when there is some defect in the device there is a probability of short circuit in the circuit at the at the time of short circuit there are sparklings and probability of catching fire now see the question number six what is an overloading what harms does it cause answer is when many electrical devices are connected to a single socket of electricity excessive electric current flows through the conducting wire when this electric current exceeds the strength of the conducting wire it gets overheated such a suitable such a situation 
is called overloading due to overloading sometimes wiring gets burnt and catches fire hence we use wire of 15a efficiency for devices drawing excessive electric current like ac and refrigerator now see the question number 7 state the uses of an electromagnet answer is it is used as an electromagnet in the electric bell in devices like telegraph use in crane to lift very heavy loads in the manufacture of many toys now see the question number 8 draw the circuit diagram to represent the electric circuit as shown in the following figures here is the circuit diagram is there you have to draw this circuit diagram wherever the space is given now see the question number 9 the electric bulb in the electric circuit shown in the following figure does not glow can you identify the problem make necessary changes in the electric circuit to make the bulb glow see the problem is that it's this one is the positive and this one is the positive so positive positive it's not connected properly so it does not glow now see answer problem in the given circuit is an incorrect connection of two cells because positive terminals of two cells are directly connected to each other for a correct connection and complete circuit the negative terminal of one cell must be directly connected to the positive terminal of the other cell hence the circuit correct circuit will be represented as follow see the figure showing the correct connections in the electric circuit here is the scene here uh, we have to draw the figure again positive terminal and here is the negative terminal positive terminal negative terminal and here is the bulb glows now we will see the main seven in the next video part 3 stay safe to healthy okay bye